to BSL Season 14, Hasu League. Round of 32, Group F, 12 o'clock location. We have Flying, aka Slimy Zerg, as the White Zerg. We have React, starting in the bottom left-hand corner, as the Teal Protoss. This is on Ascension, which is one of those rampless maps that yeah plays a lot like Blue Storm. I feel like Ascension, out of many, the, the map pool, because of its ramplessness, because of its droppable area, it ends up being one of those maps that can interrupt the meta. Because Zergling run buys become stronger, because speed zealots into the natural expansion become stronger, because lurkers being planted at various locations become brutally strong. So I feel like 973 ends up being the more, or at least a hydralisk opener. Three hatch hydra, regardless of what's getting scouted, ends up being a stronger build order opener. Probe sitting here from React, rather than moving out and scouting after Pylon. Looks like the Overlord making its way to that bottom right-hand corner first. But that's not to say that Mutalisks are weak on this map. Because even here, Mutalisks, you can see over the natural expansion, they just have a lot of room, particularly this bottom left-hand spawn. Can do a lot of damage. Gateway first opener. From React. It looks like I think he's gonna get first scout. Because he's making motions. And as I say that, yeah, he's making motions towards the base. He's gonna be running into what looks like an overpool. So there should be Zerglings there to defend, but with the timing of everything, that Zealot still can create chaos at that natural expansion. But it's gonna be a balancing game. I'm not sure if this is a drone scout or if this is a drone to go ahead and grab, or to be in position to grab that third. Probe looking to disrupt that hatchery. It looks like it is going to be able to do some hatchery disruption. Takes a little bit of damage. This probe does want to preserve health. Second drone being pulled off the line to try to cope. It looks like this first zealot should shortly be on the way. I'm actually shocked it's not on the way already. Maybe because of a bit of a micro. So. Flying seas. I'm not sure what's going on. It's going to blockade. Hanging out. Keeping his drone in the gap. First zealot's on its way. Now going to attack that pylon. I like that. Scouting drone making itself useful. Zerglings have spawned. And now React needs to react. And potentially pull the zealot back. Or potentially send the second zealot to help at this gap, si along with maybe a probe. Six Zerglings making their way across. This Zealot has managed to sneak past the Zergling front. A Nexus coming online, but this is very brave. So probe, it's gonna take a probe pole. I don't know that the second Zealot's gonna be here. It's one Zealot versus six Zerglings. That's definitely in the Zergling's favor. So it's gonna come down to a lot of micromanagement. Second Zealot just now spawning, trying to Press this back. More Zerglings have been produced. So this Zealot not getting anything. Now the Forge being dropped. But with six Zerglings and more potentially coming on the way. And no cannon yet. React's going to have his work cut out for him defending this natural expansion. Still pop down that Nexus fairly early. Fortunately for him though, Flying has built nothing in the way. He's technically all in with... I think he is all in here. He's dropping a in-base third hatch. I assume to just go all Zerglings here because he's just sitting at eight drones this entire time. Now engaging with these Zealots. Starting to punch at the front. The cannon is warping in. Probe's coming up off the line to try to support. One Zealot down, two Zealots down. Four Zerglings still remaining. Two Zerglings now remaining. More probes coming off the line. The cannon being assaulted. The probes are there though on top of it to kill the additional two Zerglings and now react in a commanding position. Two cannons warping in. Zerglings making their way down here piecemeal. And flying has not gone above the eight drone count. And it's going to be a while before... Looks like he's now starting to build some additional drones, but this is going to put him way behind. Assimilator morphing in. React can go ahead and make his way towards... Corsair tech, he's going to be able to pop a lot of overlords. Maybe a second Zergling run by flood with Zergling speed can make it happen. I think that's what Flying's going to attempt to do. He is morphing Lair, but a very, very, very late economy. 
two zealots and two cannons going to be here on the front to help deal against these zerglings. Cybernetic score warping in. This is a big investment from flying. Now running by. Able to get that first cannon down. Second cannon. Looks like it's been taken out as well. So flying able to get some disruption. However, he's been pinned back by the probes. And the zealots. Only two zerglings remaining. So he was only able to take out two cannons and a probe. He needs to get some work done. Is able to disrupt gas. And that is going to be key here. Still sitting on the 11 drone count. The zealots... Still remaining at the front line with the probes. React moving in with more Zerglings. Lair's just about going to finish. A lot of disruption in mining. Critically in gas to not get any anti-air. So maybe flying can make this work. The Zerglings still trying to push through. The cannon is being surrounded again and taken out. Flying is a cannon assassin. More Zerglings getting boxed out though. And React holds. Still with a huge lead, although as far as probes, but a lot of them aren't mining, and he is going all Zerglings. For a second there, I thought he might try to drop a Spire, but instead trying to, yeah, looks like he wants to make another shot at this. Photon Cannon in the main from React, and he's going to be able to go ahead and plop that Stargate down. More Zerglings winding about. No move to Spire yet. So honestly, a uh, layer that may not be necessary. Stalwart battle probes. Looking to hold this front line. Second cannon warping in once again. Double the worker count currently for React. So if he holds, he will have the much, much stronger economy. Spire. Finally being morphed. Plus one weapons being upgraded as well. So React moving into the mid game with a big economic lead. A probe stuck out somehow. How did a probe... Was that the same probe from the beginning? Able to see the Spire. Able to see the in-base 3 hatch. Which is a lot of information to work with. See if React drops down. He's going to go Citadel of Dune, so he wants to go DT Tech. Does have that second gas online. Three Zealots, although there is a gap here. Three Zealots on the front. And keep in mind, you got this pocket of Zerglings back here. So I think this is going to be... Two-pronged Mutalisk Zergling attack. Although a lot of drones being pumped from flying. This almost reminds me of Rancor. And some of the shenanigans he pulls. Two additional gateways plopping down. So maybe it's going to be plus one weapons, a speed zealot timing. Because there's no Templar Archives as of yet. Which I'm still expecting to see though. Because there is a lot of gasping mined here from React. Another cannon defensively just in case. Corsair exploring. And now a fourth hatch and an evolution chamber. So these Zerglings holding position. The Zealots marching out. They need to be very careful. Yeah, moving out, immediately moving back. Let's see if this Corsair can find them. A couple Scourge making their way out. So things restabilizing, but React with a big economic lead. There's the Templar Archives. In the mid game. But not a, as far as a turnaround recovery, not a terrible drone count. That's, that's workable for Zerg. 25, not the place you want to be for to kind of have a macro match. Zealots making their way across. They are going to be slow lots for the duration here. These poor two Zealots. And unfortunately, running out of position as these Zerglings going for yet another run by. Another cannon going to get taken out. This is enough zealots, though. Are they going to defend the main? or So keep in mind, there's two defensive cannons here. Before we act. So these zealots going to march forward. There's no, there's one Sutton Colony on the front. More Zerglings being built. Zerglings just going to take what they can get, which looks like it's going to be a pylon. High Templar being built. No Dark Templar as of yet. That's actually putting React in the red. Single Brave Zealot coming to fight that off. The rest of the Zealots marching forward. Leading these Zerglings. Trying to lead these Zerglings to the cannon line. Oh, this High Templar is going to get picked off potentially. And that's no bueno. High Templar out. Gateway is down. Looks like those Zerglings 
not able to wipe that out. But the Zealot's now marching to the natural expansion. It looks like Flying has plenty of defense here, though. Plus one weapons also coming online. So despite all this, and these slow Zealots probably going to get wiped out. So React, despite putting up a great defense, despite having a really strong economy... Flying is making it work. Zealots engaging here. And as I say that, the Overlord's starting to get wiped out. The Zealots trying to engage. One Corsair picked off. Nice micro there by Flying. He's stuck at 50 supply. Nearly double the supply. But keep in mind, a lot of that is in probes. For React. React getting a, the rest of his Zealots picked off now on the front lines. But he survived. Four gateways up. Templar Archives is on is there. Psystorm's going to be here in not too long. Decent amount of Corsairs still. Flying now grabbing his third base. So Flying taking a lot of risks, but not really getting punished for it. He's still behind in this match overall, but he's really making a match out of it. Also going for drop. Potentially to drop these Hydralis over the wall. A lot of cannons on the front for React. So we'll see if there's even an opportunity to drop. A bunch of pylon being placed a Robo Forge to work those weapon upgrade advantages. Plus one weapons is online. Of course, Sarah moving out is going to see a lot of these Hydralisks floating in position. And I think this is for an assumed contained situation. React actually... A single Corsair is going to be able to scout behind this and get a look inside the base. The thing is, is with if Lurker Tech comes out, well, is that... So there's no Overlord with this grouping, so this Dark Templar might be able to get damage done. These Overlords moving to the north. The Corsair on patrol, so React smells it. And even if... Is he still going to go for it? So that Dark Templar marched out to the north, spotted the Overlords and the Hydralisks to the northern position. Lurker Tech is being upgraded. React still... So now plopping down a bunch of gateways. Now has a formidable army marching forward. Catching some Hydralis... What? Ah! Out of position. Gonna go ahead and clear them out. I don't know if React has... Or that Flying has enough bulk to defend against this. But the drop... While those units are moving out of position, now... Going into the main, a lot of overlords being expended for the effort. But the troops for React are going to have to come back to the main. That forge is going to be wiped out. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to get... So, got the forge, got plus one weapons. I don't know if that was worth the trade overall, though. High Templar, are they going to clean this up with some Psy Storm? Yeah, trying to dodge. They're able to pick off a High Templar there. Able to get another High Templar. So able to delay things a little bit, but this is still sitting at 45 supply. It looks like he's setting up to go for yet another drop. Still two Corsairs in the air. And React now marching out. He's like, you know what? I know I have an economic advantage. I'm just going to go ahead and grab my third. It's up to flying to get something done now. Does he have... I don't know if he has Lurker Tech. It looks like he wants to go for yet another drop. Potentially. Never mind, he drew, he drew these Overlords back. He does have Lurkers morphing, so he wants to go for a Lurker drop in the main. With the Observatory to the north, if he can get Lurkers in here, wipe out this Observatory, the Observatory and the Robo are right here. If he can pick off some Observers, that might be a game winner. But React might not give him an opportunity to do so, because as plus two weapons is coming online, obliterating a lot of Hydralists to the north, and marching towards this third. So now the Lurkers that potentially might have been there for an attack need to sit here on the defense. The Scourge need to be on point picking off that Observer on the high ground. So look for that. The Zealots eating a huge amount of damage. They are storming down. The Observer does get picked off, but not before all of the Lurkers are taken out. There's still some Side Storm to work with to pick off this one last Lurker. And now that third going to get wiped out. There's GG from Flying. Upon losing that third, just knowing he was too far economically behind. Nice defense from React overall. And putting up with, honestly, the non-stop harassment of Flying. I like Flying's style. Fun to watch. So Flying 
going to move on to the final match. React advances at a group F. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.